Hello all, it is Regaraf back again for a, another of my Tectonica efficiency series whilst at max level. Okay, so we have so far created the, the blast drills on all of the mining nodes. Now, we are munching all this up into ore, but we can't do much with ore. We need to do something. So... We need to be able to turn this into iron ingots, or copper ingots, or... Well, we don't really have to do anything with that. But uh, to do that, we're going to need blast furnaces. Now, the, the blast furnaces are not as... Or blast smelters, sorry. Are not as efficient as using a level 2 smelter. Level 2 smelters will chuck out 180 a minute, uh, whereas these will only chuck out 50 a minute. But that is only space efficiency, because obviously this is more efficient for us because we are using the mining charges as fuel rather than making bio bricks or anything like that. So at max level, what we need here with, with these, we've got uh, them chucking out uh, 75 per minute of ore, which I think comes to 375? Yeah, 375 per minute that we need to deal with. And these blast furnaces, or blast smelters, will make 10 ingots per 12 seconds, which is... 20 per 12 seconds, which is nice and easy because that works out to 100 per minute of ore. So as you see, we need four to cope with all of that. And the great thing is, for efficiency here, it doesn't really matter that we've got one that is not being fully utilised because that one that is not being fully utilised will still get fully utilised on the next cycle. Right, so, my setup for this is, uh, and please excuse me if I look away from the camera because I do have the setup that I've designed on my right hand side here. Uh, obviously I want this to be a wall coming down here, so I'm going to move us in a couple, uh, and I'm going to have space at the back because I want to be able to pull out at the back. So these go right next to each other, nice and easy. And then we bring in, uh, down the side here, Ooh. I think it's one more, there we go. So this one will be bringing us in our mining charges and we'll obviously dump them into both of them. But that's not good enough. We need to have another one over this side as well. So um, what did we do here? We had it coming off of there and then just like this. There we go. And that means we can set another two over this side. Wonderful. But what about the ore, you say? We need to get the ore in. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so the ore will come in just on top. Nice and simple. And this allows us also to build another layer up on top of it if we need to eventually. And we have to split, split it here because if we don't split it there, then um, it won't evenly feed both. So we're, we're feeding half into this way, half into this way, and then this one is feeding half in here and half in there. So it splits it all nicely. Voila. And yeah, so. We need these taking in 100 per minute, so we do need green ones taking in the ore. 
but I'm not using like level ones anymore. So <laughs> it seems pointless. So um, yeah, red ones down. So fast inserters down just to take in the mining charges. There you go. And that is the setup here. But there is something extra that we need to do. Uh, as you see, we're dumping all of this into boxes at the moment, which um, is not what we want. And we need to filter out the gravel because this is also doing gravel. So what we're going to be doing here is getting rid of this and setting up something to filter out all of the items. And because we are checking out 375 and the filter inserters can only do 30 per minute, we're going to need um, 13 of these to pull everything off. So what I've decided to do is we'll get rid of all of this And we'll have a belt that comes straight back up this way. I'm going very slow at the moment because I've got everything from those boxes in. Two seconds. Let's dump some of that out. Right. As you see, it's dumping it all down this side. But that allows us to filter out of here. The first thing we need is to make sure that we can get our mining charges in this way because otherwise we won't be able to get them in. So that means we need to come back at least two. And then we're going to use this as our filter belt, chucking on to the belt on this side. So... What we want is up this end, Now, as you see, we're, we're making 15 per minute in each of these, so we need at least one, two, three filter inserters at this end. But to try and capture everything, because at times they're turned around, I'm going to put in double the amount of inserters, uh, which should then capture uh, everything. But you'll notice as well that we need to put these two apart. So it goes into all of the boxes. And then we'll filter down into a box right at the end here. Because the boxes have to be one apart. And we'll put all the gravel down into the end. And these are obviously filtering gravel. Where are you? Gravel. 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 Gravel, gravel, and gravel. Right, then we want to get this gravel out of the way here. Because so we don't want that. And then, what we are going to do, we, we might fill this up even more if it overflows. It's just come back up like this. Let's have a look here, actually. What I'm going to do is move this up one. I just think it looks neater having... having the, the space in between all the way along. It's purely aesthetics there. Okay, so let's see. Are we gathering all of our, our stuff? Well, these are obviously putting in... But we don't have mining charges to to do this. So, let's get our mining charge. Oh, we've backed up. Uh, we must be full here. Let's take them out. And put them in there a second. Okay. So, mining charges. How many do we need over here? We're going to need 40. So, we can just use... Because uh, each one of these is using one every 12 seconds, which is five per minute. So five, 10, 15, 20. 20, not 40. So half of one of these. Uh, hang on. We need that actually still feeding in there. So otherwise, we're going to be using the wrong amount over the other side. So let's leave that one going. We can use this one and turn him around to take out. 
And what we could do here is just go up on top of this. And we're going down this way. So let's make caught that just in time. <laughs> let's do this. Now, that's obviously too many coming out because we didn't put a loop back in, did we? So, what we need to do is put a loop in. You can just do that and put it back into there. Look. Lovely. So that's nice and smart. Now, and you'll notice I put all these lights out as well just to make it look a bit pretty and to light everything up a bit. Okay, so these are now working wonderfully. Oh, yeah, we are getting some gravel here, look. So let's try putting another couple of boxes. To oh, we will need to move that back. That didn't work out the way. Oh, hang on, no, we can do this. Can we? No. No, because that would be wrong. Okay, we'll, we'll just uh, have to leave that. Like that. There we go. Okay, so these are getting some gravel. Is that because I'm just chucking too much out at the moment? Because there's too much stacked up in these at the moment. So if we start these again... Like so. That doesn't need to be there. <laughs> Then we can put number two in. As you see, all this side then is set to pulling out the gravel. Like so. Let's take out the gravel from here. And we can dump all of our gravel into this bucket here. Wonderful. And we can have more buckets on as we, we need. Now that should, he says, work perfectly. We've obviously got some more gravel. And then all we need to do is pull out of the back of these. And along here. We are going to have to put another square here by the looks of it. And these can go into some boxes over here. So we are going to need nines pulling out of these. <laughs> Not on top. There we go. And as you see, we are now getting our ingots coming out like massively fast. Whoa. So that's uh, 200 per minute coming out at the moment. That thing should be able to catch up eventually. Wonderful. So that's our iron working nicely. And that should be nice and efficient too. We do have all this spare stuff, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, there's no way to actually dump it if you're not using it. What do I? Oh, it was just all hidden. There we go. It was uh, hidden down the bottom. I've got so much of it. Look. Let's just put a few boxes around just to uh, get rid of some of this in a minute. Be nice to have a, a delete button. A delete would be nice. So let's restart these. So that they're all yeah, they're all restarted now. Nice. Still seems to be some getting past. 
So, I'm wondering if we make this also go down here instead of this way. That's that's not gonna work. How'd that work? <laughs> Cool. Alright. Now we're good. Now we are going to be putting these in here just to pull a couple more bits of gravel out. If we get lots of gravel at the same time. So any stray gravel should be picked up now. But I think we've got rid of most of it. Wonderful. So that works perfectly. And we are stacking up these nice and quickly now, as you can see. Uh, so these are producing 50, so 100. Okay, well, uh, this is the setup for the the blast smelters guys and i'm gonna replicate this in the next episode over on i might even do that offline because it's gonna be exactly the same uh nah i'll do it over i'll do it on another episode anyway so this is the blast smelters if you've enjoyed watching this and you're gonna use this or you've seen something that you think we should be doing or i should be doing or something i've done wrong even if I've done anything wrong, let me know. But uh, otherwise, yeah. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.